We are going to cover four topics in this video, starting with what is media planning, then who needs a media plan, media plan format, and then finally, we will look into how to create a media plan. So let's jump into the first topic, which is what is a media plan. So a media plan is uh, basically a digital forecast uh, where uh, it has information to run ad campaigns with the expected KPIs, which is key performance indicators of the campaign and deliverables. In total, it covers things like uh, ad platforms, which could be Google and Facebook, campaign types could be search, display or video. Then what all campaigns we are going to put in the media plan. Then what placements we are going to keep uh, in a campaign. For example, if I talk about search campaign, search ads can be served on search network and display network. So the same campaign can show the ads on two, display, on two different networks. Then ad formats, which could be in the form of text, image or video. Then targeting. Here we are talking about the location targeting, which could be a city or a country. And finally, it takes parameters into consideration, starting with total number of clicks, bidding, overall cost, CTR, impressions, conversion lead, leads, and cost per lead. So we have all these things to cover up while creating a media plan. Then who needs a media plan? People who are either a media planner of a company or maybe uh, someone who is a client manager or maybe people who are agency managers, they have to present these plan to different clients and the clients are always looking for numbers. In order to provide these numbers, we have to get some estimated data. So any client manager or an agency manager would need these media plans. Then we talk about media plan format sheet. So here we are having three sheets to talk about starting with summary google ads plan and media plan so let's get into summary sheet now this is a sheet which i had already created for you to create a media plan which we are going to do so the question is let's create a lead generation media plan for this company for the following courses with three lakh monthly budget now the company has given uh, three courses to us need je 11th and 12th coaching so they are looking forward to get a lead generation media plan for their company on platforms like google and meta with three lakh monthly budget now these numbers are something which we have to generate so we should be having all this information in hand before we create a media plan the one best way to create the media plan could be putting the question uh, on chat GPT so that you directly get a media plan. So here I put this question in a format, create a Google and Facebook lead generation media plan sheet with campaign structuring numbers for this company with 3 lakh INR monthly budget. And just by adding or providing this question to chat GPT, we got some estimated result. So if you're not really good with uh, your data, you are not really good with creating media plan, then maybe you put this question and you take out the figures from chat GPT. Now what it's gonna do, uh, it's gonna provide you uh, things like different kind of campaigns that you uh, put under Google, then targeting some keyword idea, some ad copy landing page, some Facebook information. Maybe you get an overview of how or what campaigns you should be having in this media plan also with things like conversion tracking key metrics optimization actions but then uh, you would need some additional information to complete this media plan for which i have this sheet available which starts with summary goes to google ad plan and meta ads plan so let's jump into summary and then we are gonna look into creation of these plans now we have the company name available, then we have three courses. Objective is to generate leads, the media planning for a brand uh, awareness objective or maybe any different objective could be a little different where we don't focus on lead generation campaigns, we focus on some other campaigns. Here the platforms that we are choosing is Google and Meta. Meta is going to include Facebook and Instagram for sure. Campaign types are going to be search and lead generation campaigns. Duration uh, could be one month. Target location is India. 
monthly paid cost is 3 lakh monthly projected leads is something which we have to put in the plan once it's available average cost per lead is again needs to be pulled out from the uh, media plan the market competitors are vedantu akash narayana career 360 so normally before you create a media plan you get all this information from client if not then maybe you assume a couple of information so maybe if client says let's create a lead generation media plan then the best platforms for you could be google meta or maybe linkedin as well if client asks you to run brand awareness uh, plans then maybe you go with youtube or display campaigns so now let's get into the second tab which is google ads plan now in google ads plan we are having this format available which starts with a platform campaign type course placement ad format targeting and furthermore it has multiple available options now one of the requirements that you should be having in your mind is the landing page if you want to run google ad campaign then a google ad account then you must be doing a keyword research or you must be creating search ads and then applying a conversion tracking without this your campaign will not be uh, getting created or will not be getting success or you won't be getting leads out of it so let's start with uh, our plan okay so now we are keeping two lakh rupees for google and one lakh as an amount for facebook so three lakh is uh, divided into two different platforms in google the campaign types are going to be search the campaigns or the courses where we want to divide our uh, campaign is going to be neat classes je classes 11th or 12th classes placements are going to be google search ad formats is going to be text targeting is going to be india now let's remove the bidding amount from here i'm just doing it for a while so now this two lakh has to be again divided into three different campaigns so i'm keeping the maximum amount with neat classes which is eighty thousand and remaining uh, amount is going with je and 11th and 12th class campaign now i really have to get into an account through which i can calculate uh, the average bidding amount so what you do you quickly get into any account so let's say we are getting into this account and open up keyword planner tool so that you find out the uh, average bidding amount without bidding amount you cannot really uh, you cannot really create a media plan so let's say uh, we get into any google ad account as i said the link is ads.google.com and even if you don't uh, pay anything to google google will allow you to have this kind of google ad account through which you simply get into tools and settings and keyword planner now let's look into what is what could be our available keywords for neat classes so what i'm going to do because neat classes is could be our main keywords so i'm going to simply put this keyword in our discover new keyword tab with location as india and click on on get results now i can see uh, the low bid range for neat class keyword is 19 rupees which is close to 20 and the high bid range is 90 rupees now i'm just taking the median of both these numbers where it could be around 42 rupees so this is the average bidding amount for a click now the total number of clicks are gonna be total cost divided by average bidding amount so we get these many clicks similarly i already calculated the average bidding amount for je classes 11th and 12th classes this was close to 38 and 35 so using these three uh, bidding amounts we can simply calculate the total number of clicks for each campaign now let's come into the ad visibility part where we see what is our click through rate or how many impressions we get against our ad copies so basically impression is total number of views which your ad received and there's a formula which you have to remember which is a ctr formula ctr is click through rate is clicks divided by impressions into 100 okay now we have all this information available now 
this percentage of CTR is the average amount. So whenever somebody go to Google and let's say types in buy shoes and out of 100 searches, the number of clicks calculates the CTR for you. So let's say if 100 people searches for different ads and Mintra receives six clicks, then we have 6% CTR for Mintra, which is simply the click against 100 searches. So the formula is clicks upon impressions into 100. What we have seen in the past campaigns is the average CTR, which stays around in between 5 to 8%. So we are keeping 6% as the CTR for our search campaigns. We are keeping the same numbers for all these three campaigns. Now, to calculate impression, it would become, the formula would become impressions is equal to clicks upon CTR into 100. So impression is equal to clicks divided by CTR. It would be into 100, but as it already has a percentage sign, we are not multiplying it with 100 because it's already there. So the impressions are going to be uh, 317464 for first campaign followed to which 26 and 28. So in total, we are talking about getting 86,000 impressions and then 5,000 clicks. Now, conversion rate is again something where we have to calculate it as per our, we can't calculate it basically. We have to check our historical data and as per the experience, the conversion rate is the form fill up rate when somebody lands on the website. So in this case, uh, the website that we are choosing for the plan is this. Now conversion rate is the form fill up rate. If we have a form over here, so let's say this is a view subscription plan and number of people who are taking this plan becomes the conversion rate for us. So uh, conversion is all about how many people are converting after coming on this landing page or on this website. Every website can have a different uh, type of action. For some websites, it could be uh, generating a phone call. For some, it could be joining for free. For some, it could be uh, registering with the company. Now, for most of the companies, the conversions are majorly a form fill up or maybe a registration. Now, what we had seen the average conversion rate from a search campaign stays somewhere in between three to six percent. If it's less than three, then maybe you have to work on the landing page. If it's uh, more than six, then it's good for the company. So the average that we are keeping to create this plan is four percent. Maybe if you want, if you want to stay on the higher side, you can keep it as much as five or six percent. So let's say if we go with four percent conversion rate then leads are equal to 4% of total number of clicks. So as I said, conversion is the form fill up rate of total people who have landed on the website. Now this becomes 76 and then we get the other numbers as well. The cost per lead is going to be total cost divided by total leads. So here we are talking about generating 208 leads the total average cost per lead is going to be 2 lakh divided by 208. So we are getting a lead in 960 rupees. This is the average cost per lead that we can generate from Google campaigns. Then coming into Meta, we are having this sheet created. This template is uh, similar to Google ad campaign, but we have different type of ad campaigns. So here we are creating uh, or keeping the budget for the lead generation campaign. Now, lead generation campaign in Meta is a campaign where the form is available within Facebook or Instagram only, for which we don't need a landing page. Now, we, the ad format is uh, going to be very different from what we use in a search campaign. It could be in the form of a creative, which means banner, or it could be in the form of videos as well. Again, the clicks are going to be same. Average bidding is going to be lesser than what we use for Google. Again, they are bidding uh, comes from the historical data of other campaigns. CTR is lesser what we get from search campaign and conversion rate is also lesser than the search campaign conversion rate. Now here if we allot 1 lakh rupees and divide it into 3 campaigns, NEET, JE, 11th and 12th, then we are talking about, about generating 200 leads at the cost of 1 lakh rupees. Now for Facebook, the requirements are Facebook page access, Instagram account access, Facebook ad account, 
and availability of creatives or videos. So here both the plans are giving us 408 leads which I'm going to put in the plan summary. So monthly projected leads are 408 and then the average cost per lead is going to be total cost divided by total generated leads. So we are talking about generating 735 leads. If we spend 3 lakh rupees for one month in India. Now again this is just a projection, just an estimate. The actual numbers will definitely differ after running the campaign. But it should uh, like it should not vary by more than 20%. Try to uh, get good data. Try to use a keyword planner tool, maybe some historical data for Facebook. So you get close to the projected numbers. Now, if you want, I can uh, add the link of the sheet in the footer so you can simply download it and use it for your editing purposes.